cutting a solar cell to increase power? This is not totally true. In fact, it can help to reduce the power loss by shadow effect. This technique is commonly used in the solar industry these days. How oh, and why it can help on a solar powered plane? Let's see. Typical solar cell gives us 0.6 volts, 6 amps, 3.6 watts. Slice it. Half cells gives us 0.6 volts, 3 amps for 1.8 watts each. Wire them all. You now have a strip of two half cells which gives us 1.2 volts, 3 amps and 3.6 watts again. But how can we expect a benefit from that? Put four cells serial wired, assuming these are super cells which gives us 5 volts at 6 amps each. Our system needs 20 volts. Total power is 120 watts. Oh my god. The current drops to 1 amp in the entire strip and we now get only 20 watts. Ok, let's slide them off. We switch the polarity and wire them serial. We now get 120 watts at 40 volts. This voltage doesn't fit to our system and there is no benefit at all. But what if we put them in an array of two strips? Put some blocking diode here and there. We now have a configuration of two strips in parallel, which gives us 60 watts at 20 volts each. Total power is 120 watts. Now, if something bad happens, in the worst case, we still get 60 watts at least. Remember, in the first situation, we only got 20 watts after the incident. How can we use this technique on a solar powered plane? Sometimes, when the sun goes down or the plane applies some roll, the wing can be affected by a shadow. In this case, even if only a small part of the wing is under a shadow, the current drops and we lose the power of the full wing. With an array of two strips configuration, one strip on each half wings, we are losing power from the shadowed half wing only. Cutting cells is not difficult, but you can break them. You can find different methods on YouTube, Dremel or Cutter, but you can also buy already cut cells. If you try this method, let us know if it works for you in the comments. Bye.